You're watching a PC Wizkid review of the Kingston A1000 series SSD. This is a PCI Express NVMe M.2 form factor SSD, as you can see right here, nice and small. And uh, it's an entry level, by the way, so very affordable from Kingston, the uh, A1000 series. And uh, comes in the box with uh, the Acronis um, image uh, copier. So basically, if you want to transfer your data from an old hard drive, the Acronis 2 Image uh, HD software has an activation key there for free, so you can clone your existing hard drive, bring it over, and there's the manual. To install this, if you have an old motherboard that does not have the M.2 socket, the form factor, you can use a card like this, so you'd have to purchase this separately, of course, this uh, PCI Express card, I just happen to have one, to show you, okay, so you would install it like this, okay, and then slide it into your PCI Express um, slot, you know, make sure that it's Gen 3 um, X2 interface, so that way you get the fullest uh, capabilities out of this. And uh, if you have a new board, well, you don't need it, right? You don't need it at all. You just use the M.2 slot and you're good to go. 480 gigabyte version is what I've got here, as you can see. There's a 960 and a 240. I'm looking forward to getting that 1500 uh, megs per second on the read and 900 megs per second on the write. Here we have it installed in Windows 10 running on a Intel Core i7 7700K CPU. So we're really running a fast machine, giving it the best we can so that benchmarks are awesome. And are they awesome? You bet. Addo Disk Benchmark is showing me that it exceeded the specifications that I just showed you a second ago. Look at that. On the sequential read, we're getting over a thousand megs per second there on the write. And on the read, wow. On the read, we're getting 1,770 on average there. You can see 1,780 even. Wow. On the megabytes per second on the read. So definitely exceeding those specifications. Well done, Kingston, on the A1000 um, series SSD. Crystal Disk Benchmark, slightly different benchmarks, but really trying to do the same thing, is concurring with Addo on the sequential read and writes. And you can see, again, depending on the amount of data that it's pushing back and forth and the type of test, you're going to get different results, especially if there's compression involved or not. And here on ASSSD, it also shows you that. Again, bang on the advertised sequential read and writes, as you can see right there. And terrific results also on the copying, the copy benchmark here. So, for example, simulating copying an ISO file, uh, program files, uh, gaming, things like that. So those are good results to have. Here are the uh, IOPS or the input and output operations per second, basically, that you're getting uh, on those types of tests, if you're interested in that as well as some compression benchmarks from AS SSD. You can pause the screen here at any time, by the way, if you want to take a closer look. Moving along, though, we have the Anvil Storage Benchmark, well-rounded, very popular benchmark tool. And, uh, you know, I thought I'd run it also because you want to see different results, slightly different results, but you want to see consistency between all of these benchmarks. You want to see some similarity so that we know that we're getting great results. Indeed, we are. Look at the performance uh, test 9.0. It positioned this NVMe uh, SSD drive at a really high score compared to these other SSD drives. Terrific results. I mean, you definitely want to get uh, an A1000 series SSD compared to one, uh, one of these standard SSDs, right? They're just, you know, out of date now, too slow, and this is really the way to go. On the ADA64 read test suite, you can look here, again, bang on the advertised amounts for the read, about uh, 1,600 megs per second, actually, so that's pretty darn good. And uh, also on the linear write, I ran some tests there, and it gave me a maximum of free, uh, no, 527 there megs per second on the um, on the linear right. PC Mark 8 tries to emulate some real world type of scenario, so uh, a little bit of gaming, Adobe Photoshop, Microsoft Word. You can see there, 427 megs per second on average is the storage bandwidth for you know all these types of tests. Really good results, as you can see here. Definitely recommend you guys look into this because again, as an entry level PCI. Uh, Express NVMe type of uh, solution. This is really uh, the way to go. You know, it's very affordable. I'll add the latest pricing in the description below. I'd like to thank Kingston for providing it. Comment, let me know what you think. And again, thank you for watching.